everybody and good morning and welcome to the Scott Show Wake Up Call. We do this every day, 8 o'clock in the morning. I actually have my phone go off at 7.59 to make sure that I set this up. Uh, it does take a minute, so if I do show up at 8.01, sorry. But if you guys go to 102550.net slash Scott Show, uh, you guys can set it up to where you'll get it live right as it happens as we pop up on the screen. So big shout out to all the cool... Uh, stuff that we can do with our website and our speaker.com. Big shout out to Speaker 2 as they are awesome. Um, never been super uh, proud of an organization, uh, but they they take care of us, so that's cool. Speaker.com, check it out. All right, so we got our checkiday.com today. We got a few days today. It's all Souls Day today. It's Cookie Monster Day today, not for me, I'll tell you why in a little bit. Uh, International Stout Day, Let's Look for Circles Day, National Deviled Eggs Day, National Men Make Dinner Day, I made dinner yesterday. Um, of course, I was the only one eating what I made, because that's it. Uh, National Plan Your Epitaph Day, and Practice Being Psychic Day. And if I'm being psychic right now, I'm thinking you guys are enjoying the hell out of the Scott Show podcast. And I thank you guys for that. Now, I said that I can't be Cookie Monster Day because my butt needs to hit the gym. I think I ate too much candy. And yesterday I made uh, some boiled dinner. That's awesome. I love boiled dinner. Um, and I ate a lot of it. So I got to you know, break that down and uh, start hitting the gym again and I'm going to do that uh, today is actually Zumba day so I'm pumped up and big shout out to Angie uh, for putting on a great Zumba class as uh, it will happen today it's going down folks as we do it up here on the Scott Show podcast 102550 network one of these days we'll get all that straightened out but for right now we got this going on and we got thumbs up thumbs down going on today we got some controversial ones so let's let's make it happen. Thumbs thumbs up are never that controversial, but they're always fun. Thumbs down, uh, yeah. All right, so big thumbs up to older TV shows. Um, I was watching at the gym yesterday in the heat of the night, uh, the show with Carol O'Connor, and it was great. I was just watching it uh, while I was on the elliptical and I was burning calories while uh, enjoying this older TV show. It's a big thumbs up to older TV shows. Uh, it's not just in the heat of the night, but it's all of them. You know, New Heart, Wings, um, The Golden Girls, even I Love Lucy and stuff like that. You know, that stuff will never get old. Uh, shows that are on right now, a lot of them, um, they get old a week later because they're so set on what's happening that minute. So... Um, I'm not going to give them a thumbs down, though. I'll give a thumbs down to certain TV shows, but not today. Uh, thumbs down, they'll go to Papa John's Pizza. Uh, Papa John's is complaining that the NFL has to do with um, the fact that uh, they're losing money and they're not selling as much and their advertisement is not going that well. Um I think Papa John's has a lot of issues when it comes to that. The fact that, you know, they're, they're doing really terrible things business-wise. And and just, it used to be a really great pizza. I used to love Papa John's. I'm not a big Papa John's guy anymore. And even where they're located, it, business is all about location, location, location. So it's a lot of things. And where they're located here in my town... Um, it's not anywhere where I'd, where I'd go. I don't really feel like ordering from them because it's just as costly as ordering from anywhere else and not that great. They do have that butter sauce, though. And I give it up to that butter sauce. But then again, I shouldn't eat that butter sauce. Just saying. Just saying, folks. So, that's what's going on. A big thumbs down to Papa John's Pizza. Uh, Big thumbs up to Street Plows as we uh, receive some snow here. Uh, Big thumbs up to the Street Plows taking care of the business. 
thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. It's making everybody safer uh, when they can move around without sliding and slipping and uh, or having to go through piles of snow. I also, you know, I, I, guess, I guess I can also sometimes give them a thumbs down, but, you know, I'm not that mean of a guy. Uh, they they do their great work, and, you know, sometimes they pile people in to where they need to shovel more, and, you know, th- there's no there's no fix to that. So I'm going to give a big shout-out to the street plows and thumbs up. Big thumbs down to Facebook. So here's my complaint about Facebook. Anytime anybody uses words or says things that are demeaning to people, no matter who they are, I tend to be that guy and put it uh, put it out there and say, hey, Facebook, this person's doing wrong, especially when you're using the damn N-word. Now, I don't, I don't, man, I, I don't mind it. If it's in a context of history, you know, you watch Django Unchained. If you don't like that word, don't watch the movie. Yeah, uh, Blazing Saddles, same thing. If you don't like the word, don't watch the movie. And I don't like the word, but I don't mind it in history context. I understand that it is part of a vocabulary in certain people's mind, but it is racist. Um... And there are people out there using this word that are racists. Um, so, if you don't... The word should be banned. I think it's the same thing with the R word, which I'm not repeating either one of them. I would turn myself in for swearing here, because I think both of those words are deplorable. I love that word. And so, big thumbs down to Facebook for not being more proactive and uh, helping our children learn a little bit about what is and isn't good language. I mean, I see some really terrible things on Facebook, but the fact that they let the N-word uh, out there, I am not cool with, and um, I, I just wish that Facebook would get their ass in gear. Yeah, I just swore on my own thing. That's not nearly as bad as those two words. All right, thumbs up to Netflix for shutting down uh, Kevin Spacey's show, House of Cards. The House of Cards has fallen. I'm sure uh, you've heard that uh, numerous times already. Uh, but big thumbs up to Netflix for shutting it down. Now they need to shut down Adam Sandler's thing because apparently he likes to pull a Donald Trump and grab people by the whatever. Um, so big thumbs up to Netflix for making a, making it happen. Take care of that Adam Sandler crap. Um, I think we need to ship him out. Uh, And then, thumbs down to the University of Wisconsin-Superior. I know this is a local one. Some people are going to say, what the heck? Uh, But they're cutting a whole bunch of programs. Um, It really just kind of making an idiot to themselves. You know, when you do that, nobody's going to want to go there. So, I mean, congratulations for shutting yourself down. Just saying. Really stupid. All right, I do got a few shout-outs uh, today. We got a big shout-out for Dan. I uh, got a shout-out for Sexy Pizza. Uh, just in case you guys don't know, there is a place in Denver called Sexy Pizza. It is one of the coolest places I've ever uh, checked out. I can't wait to go to Denver. That's actually going to be my one meal that I'm super excited about is Sexy Pizza. And I'm going to check this place out because they are working in homelessness and poverty in Denver. There's a big shout out to them. A big shout out to Melissa today. A big shout out to Bob. Not King Bob like all the minion stuff that I have, but big shout out to Bob. Um big shout out to Carrie today going through lots of stuff. Um so big shout out uh to her. Uh Nathan. Big shout out to Nathan, because Nathan's a cool guy. So we do shout outs and thumbs up, thumbs down every morning here on the Scott Show podcast. And we also have now an election to watch the Denver mayoral election. And that is coming up. I'm actually going to be highlighting the local elections just as a last ditch effort to get people out to vote here in Duluth Superior on the local show today. But I saw the Denver mayor election, and that, that's going to be an important one because we want to. 
work on the public policy of ending homelessness and poverty. And, well, there are issues. So we're going to take care of those issues. I'm going to go grab my coffee, get going on some NCAA shows. We've got our local show today talking all about the election. Got some great stuff going on, folks. So, I'm going to give you guys big last time big shout out to everyone listening. I want to thank you guys so very much. We are completely honored to have you guys here on the show making things happen. Remember it's Cookie Monster Day, so you guys get out the get out the Cookie Monster deal and you know, have fun with that. Me on the other hand, I'm going to hit the gym and probably eat kale. Uh, so we will see you guys later here on the Scott Show Podcast. Maestro, kick my music. <laughs>